All right, we're going to actually use a sample question that would have been in a, uh, on a paper to actually go through how to use a Venn diagram to solve these problems. So let's look at what we have. A group of 40 IB students were surveyed about the languages they have chosen. E for English, F for French, or S for Spanish. And then they give us a running list of everything that's going on. And they want us to draw a Venn diagram of this and then answer a few questions. We have three worlds here, right? The best place to start when we do these Venn diagrams is actually to start at the overlap. Um, we know that all three overlap. So I'm going to grab um, another sheet of paper here and go ahead and, and start my Venn diagram and then we'll be pulling back in the information as we go. So we've got three circles. And it said that one of them is English, one of them is French, and one of them is Spanish. Now it tells me that we in our universe that in the universe, so here's my universe, the number in the universe was 40. So let's remember that, that the total number here is 40. It also says that three students did not study any of these. So they're on the outside here. There's three people out here. It says two students studied all three languages. Okay. Eight studied English and French. Now that means English and French at the same time. English and French would be the intersection of English and French. <laughs> now if it's eight total and we have two here, then that leaves six for here. It says that I have ten studying English and Spanish. English and Spanish. I'm going to get a different color here. English and Spanish would be this. If there's 10 total there, then that means there's 8 out here. 6, study French and Spanish. Well, there's already 2 here, so there's got to be 4 there. Now, 13 students study French. That means that the total number in the French group is 13. It also said that 28 students study English. So the total number of students that study English is 28. So now let's think about that. If the total number of French students is 13, how many have we already accounted for? 6, 4, and 2. So if I add that up, that's 12. That means there's only one other student left here. As far as English, English is 28 students signed up. Let's see who we've got accounted for already. 8 here, 2 here, that's 10. That's 16. So 28 take away 16 leaves me 12 left that just study English by themselves. Now, We finished filling this out, but there's a, there's a next step to this. There's 40 total. Do we have them all accounted for? Let's find out. Okay. 12, the 18, 19, 27, 29, 33, 36. There's 36 accounted for. So that leaves me four students that I need to put somewhere. They've got to be here. And it actually asks in the question, how many students study only Spanish? Well, that would be the number of students. Well, let's see. That we, that would just be the four, right? The next part says, on your diagram, shade the students who do not study English or French. But they actually show the notation as well. This is English, Union, French, the complement of that. So if we look at this, 
we don't want anything in their union. So let's think about where their union would be. Their union would be all of E and all of F. So we want everything on the outside of their union. So like I said, this is an actual exam question. And some of the questions are just that easy that you'll be shading and getting that information directly from the pictures. Some will only have one or two, uh, I mean two groups. Some may have up to three. Um, but really, once you draw the picture, it should be easy from there. 